title, Overcome Your Doubts. Tell your neighbor. I can hear you. Because this is what everyone is wrestling, battling, struggling with. Doubts. The best sense have need for the help that can make their faith stronger. Tell your neighbor, the best sense have need for the help that can make their faith stronger. Who are you then? If the best sense, you know, said, let's take our reading from the book of Matthew 11. Now it came to pass when Jesus finished commanding his 12 disciples that he departed from there to teach and to preach in their cities. Verse 2. And when John had heard in prison about the work of Christ, he sent two of what? Two of his disciples, verse 3, and he said to him, Are you the coming one? Or do we look for another? Verse 4, Jesus answered and said to them, Go, tell John the things, take note of them, Go, tell John the things which you hear and see. Too concrete this time. Go, tell John the things which you hear and see, but fine. The blind see, the lame worm, the lepers are cleansed. And the dead hear. The dead are raised up. And the poor have the gospel preached to them. Verse 6. Blessed is he who is not offended because of me. When you begin to look at all the biblical character, take the case of Abraham in Genesis 15, verse 6. Abraham believed, but still, he wanted a sign. He wanted a sign that will make his faith stronger. Let's look at Gideon in that George 6, verse 36 to 37. Gideon believed, but still, he wanted concrete sign to strengthen his faith. Let someone say, overcome your doubt. I can hear you. John the Baptist. In that Matthew 11. John the Baptist believed But also, he wanted concrete sign to make his faith firm that, yeah, you are the one. Not that he does not believe. He believed. He wanted concrete evidence, concrete sign. Yes, that is why he sent his two disciples there. Many people in the Bible whom we regard, consider to be pillar of faith had moment of doubt. This does not mean that they had less faith, but that their faith 
was being challenged in a new way. What do I mean by hard moment of doubt? There are situations in their life that challenge their faith. Uncommon, unusual things that they came across. If you are genuinely seeking salvation from God, in the midst of doubt, God will not mind because at the end, your doubt will move you closer to him. There are situations in their life that challenged their faith on issue things that they came across. There are situations in your life that are challenging your faith. What are the situations in your life that are challenging your faith? Let such situation move you closer to God. Not further away from God. Tell your neighbor, let such situation move you closer to God, not further away from Him. Because some will say, oh, no, I'm poor, no, I'm sick, no, I'm, no. In cases of prolonged, uncomfortable situation, such as sickness, disease, hardship, poverty, and lies, one seems to be tempted to doubt is ability and desire to help. One seems to be tempted to doubt his desire or ability to help. So I've been in the sickness for many years. Look, I've been a Christian for long, and you have friends that they are church goers, but you, you, you are a doer, as you believe. Their faith was being challenged in a new way. What one has not experienced before in one's life, cropping up, will generate anxiety, worry, panic, doubt in one's face. What you have never experienced before. You begin to ask yourself, ah, how does this see coming? What is happening to me? Tell your neighbor, overcome your doubt. I can hear you. I can hear you. Yes. Overcome your doubt. When you open the book of Matthew 14, verse 31, David, John the Baptist, and Peter, along with many other biblical heroes, struggling with various doubts. When Peter was asked to drop his net, he said to Jesus, I've been there for many more. I've been doing what you asked me to do. What can you ask me to drop my net? No. God does not mind doubt as long as we are seeking answer from God. 
in the midst of faith. Tell your neighbor, God does not mind doubt. As long as we are seeking answer from God in the midst of faith. Yes, God does not my doubt. Does not my doubt. But my you, doubt can become sin if it leads you away from God. <laughs> Tell your neighbor, doubt can become sin if it leads you away from God to so, skepticism, cynicism, uh, then to hard-heartedness. It can become sin if it leads you away from God. But God does not my doubt. As long as you are seeking answer from him in the midst of it, like John the Baptist, like Peter. As you move closer to God, you will find the strength to trust God. As you move closer to, to him, in the midst of that doubt, you move closer to him because you have a genuine desire. You will find the strength to trust him and your faith will grow even stronger. One of Satan's tactics is to get you to doubt God's goodness. Tell your neighbor, one of Satan's tactics is to get you to doubt God's goodness. God's time is the best. Be patient. He tries to get you to forget all God has given you. And he wants you to focus on what you do not have. You begin to say, God, give me, God, give me, God, give me, God, give me. You want you to focus on what you do not have. And if you are spending much of your time thinking about what you do not have, you may be slipping into unhealthy doubts. Today, we only acknowledge the immediate goodness of God when we receive and thereafter never mention that miracle, that blessing, that healing, that deliverance, that, 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 that we never mention. That is Satan. Remember the sickness you had in the past. The same sickness other had and died. Why many other are still on the sick bed? If you say it was an ordinary sickness, because we have answer to every, every question. It's an ordinary sickness. It's an ordinary headache. It is an ordinary atata. No, 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 no. But people die the same sickness every day. Tell your neighbor, never doubt God's desire or ability to help you. Let's quickly look at First Samuel 17, verse 37. It's just about a rustic boy, David. 
David was brought to king to defend his cause. The Bible says he simply testified of how God delivered him, how God saved him, how God rescued him from the mouth of lion and the bear in his tender age. But you, if you are called for testimony, you will mention just only the immediate thereafter, never measure that miracle, that blessing God did in your tender age. God gives everyone plenty of evidence to believe in him. Let someone say, God gives everyone plenty of evidence to believe in him. Yes, that comes when we fail to stop long enough to observe all the evidence. <laughs> Are you with me? Let's say again. Doubt comes when we fail to stop long enough to observe all the evidence. What I mean, once in a while, you should take time to reflect over God's track record in your life. This is what I mean. Many of us here today were born into poverty striking families. <laughs> striking me. Uh, your uncle is poor. Your grandmother is poor. No vehicle, no motorcycle, even no house. Everybody is living in a family house. Many of us were born into poverty striking families. Sickness ridden families. But today, we are able to live above all that. We are like a man who prayed that he had no shoe. At last, God answered and had money. And he went to the market and saw a man without legs. Tell your neighbor, when you have doubt, when you have doubt reveal, reveal God's track record God's in your life. When you have doubt, reveal God's track record in your life. You will know that you are from nowhere to somebody. Review it. God's track record in your life. When you take your time to review God's track record in your life, that will grow confident that He will work in your present situation. When you are struggling with doubt, take time to remember the way God has worked in your life. As you recall God's track record, you will grow confidence that the situation you are in is not like others for the glory of God. 
as you recall God's track record, you will grow confidence that whatever situation you are in, going by the track record, look at me here, I spent 20 something months in my mother's womb. Why I was not delivered at nine months? For me to be there for 20 something months and nothing happened to me, and I was delivered, the same day I was delivered, the seventh day, a stone came from nowhere to hit me and kill me, but I escaped this. And going by my track record in the past, wow. Each time I take time to remember the way God has worked in my life. As I recall God's track record, it grow confident in me that whatever, 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 it's not like order for the glory of God. As you recall God's track record in your life, you will grow confident that a solution is forthcoming. You will grow confidence that your present situation will be overcome by God. Amen. As he did in the past. You will grow confidence that God will never fail you or abandon you because he had not and never did in the past. Be patient. Tell your neighbor, be patient. Be I can hear you. And let God answer your question on his schedule, not yours. Tell your neighbor. Be patient and let God answer your question on his schedule, not yours. God's time is the best. At God's time, it is all good. Thank you. Rise up. If your question has been answered, let me see your hand. Questions you brought here today. If those questions have been answered, let me see your hand. Your question has been answered. Yes. Your question has been answered. Yes. Viewers all over the world, your question has been answered. Yes. Viva all over the world, your question has been answered. Yeah. Viva all over the world, your question has been answered. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> so doubt can move one closer to God. Yes, if I genuinely seek salvation from God, in the midst of doubt, God will not mind because at the end, my doubt will move me closer to him. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So God is aware that there are some challenges, prolonged, uncomfortable situation. One seems to be tempted to doubt God's desire or ability to help. Oh, God is aware. Father, thank you. 